Folks, I'm doing a little intro to this video today. It's about growing grapes, and I know almost nothing about growing grapes. I have seven vines I'm trying to learn. So my wife Nikki's uncle Paul it, it grows grapes, and I've heard that he grows grapes for years, and I, I figured maybe he had two or three or four, five, six, eight vines. I didn't know. Went over to his house, and I was amazed to find out he has hundreds of vines. I think, it, well, maybe over at least over 150 and he has them laid out on a large piece of property. It was way more than I thought, and he walked around showing me uh, his grapes and how he grows them. He's down in the Lumberton area. Uh, he, he, like like I, uh, he, is, he is a white man who's married into a wonderful Indian family, and so he's down in Native American country, and beautiful grapes, and, and, and what it does, it, it goes in sort of a roundabout way, but he does his best to explain how he grows his grapes. We shot the video interview I did with him early in the year, so there were no leaves on the grapes. I did go back and shoot uh, just just yesterday, uh, which it was um, May twenty fourth, two thousand fourteen. Went and shot uh, his grapes with the with the leaves and stuff out, and then the, the little tags of grapes started. I will be going back in August or September when he starts to harvest and do a second uh, interview with with Uncle Paul. So here you go. I hope you all enjoy this. Those of you trying to learn how to grow grapes, he acts like he's not a, an expert, but he totally is. Uh, take his advice. I'm sure you'll really enjoy watching this. Peace. I, I started out with seven vines. Seven like vines. Years. That's what I've got. And every year, I just said, "Well, I'll put in, a, I'll put in a few more." You know. Yeah. Look at this. You've got actually telephone poles in the ground to hold your grapes to yeah. anchor your grapes. Yeah. Because they get pretty heavy, don't they, when they come up? Yes. Yes, they do. These is some water that I bought from Aggie Supply. They're from that post to this post is 20 foot. Yeah. Now I went 10 foot from a vine. Yeah, so you're, you're allowing 10 feet either side of it. 10 to... feet either side. So when this, when it comes up and comes up here, and you'll separate. Yep. When you get to this line. And I use, I use uh, occasionally, if 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 I need a strap or something, I'll take a, I'll take a, a lady's hose. Yeah, ladies' and, hose. Because it's, it's stretchy. Stretchy. There you go. Or either I will I will go to the to the auto place, and I'll pick me up some of these uh, little plastic ties. little plastic things. But see, they don't last long, yeah, maybe about eventually. a year or something. But that's all right. But once, once that vine gets up here, you want to take the, you want to take this, take this out anyway. Yeah. You see. Because now it can support itself. Yeah, it can support itself. This, this, that it sit there until that vine come all the way up this post and it supported it until it got here. Yeah. And then I see you've actually kind of led, led the vine to rotate around the wire. But I have found out later if you wrap that vine around this wire yeah. in 10 years or, or over with that vine wrapped around the wire, the wire will be inside of the grape. So better not to do that. Better, not do better to let it just to let it hang from something. Right, and let and let it let it take hold and, and support its, its own self. self. Uh, it puts its, its own, own little tendril yeah. around it. Yeah. See, there's the little tendrils doing yeah. that. Yes, sir. So it knows to do it on its own. Yeah, it does. It will. That is crazy. I never thought of that. Yes, sir. So don't wrap. Better don't, not to wrap the vine around the wire. Mm -mm. I can see what you've done over here. Same kind of yep. thing. Look, you got some new growth of leaves getting ready to pop out. Yeah. They're beautiful vines. Yeah. Are they all? Well, uh, well, see now these, these here is a seedless grape. Yeah. And they don't grow. They they don't. I can't. I ain't got no look with them like I do with the muscadines. The muscadines do better. The muscadines is a North Carolina grape. North Carolina grape, and they grow really well. Yeah. Now, I see one of your vines is trimmed down over here. What happened to that well, one? See, now I lost that one. Uh, it, what, what, what got it? It died. I don't know. Something? What, it wasn't the weather. I think it might have been. It might have been because I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been, I've been uh, uh, you know, in the grapes now for to where I have accumulated a little knowledge to take care of them the whole I was just stumbling along. Yeah, that's me. I'm stumbling. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this, 
and I say these are seedless here. Yeah. And I got to keep them 80 foot away from the grape that's got seeds in it. Or they'll cross pollinate. They'll, they'll cross. Ah, uh, see. Boy, this vine here is unreal. Though. Will you get a five gallon bucket oh, of grapes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you, from, from 10 to 10, you, you might get a bushel. Wow. Then, then as it gets older yeah. and it grows, you, you, you could get, you, if I would break it down and put me a war here, when it first, when I first planted them and I could take four, that's like 40 foot. Yeah. yeah. Off of one vine. Wow. The way it is, we only got 20 foot on one vine, see? Is it, is it, like I noticed some people do have a wire that's down low like that. Why do they do the down low wires? Well, it's, it's to make your grapes, to, uh, to make your grape produce and not have to set another, another roll of fence over there eight see. foot. All right. From, you know, divide it. So you can divide it where it goes a row down the bottom and a row up top. You can guide that. You can guide that vine to grow the, out that way. Or these instead of two. I see. It, it is uh, when they start growing out. How far down do they hang? Do they they'll, hang? They'll come all the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. Wow. They'll, they'll come all the way down. Well, now, just ripple them. I can. I can see you've trimmed them and stuff. When? Yeah. What, what, when, when do you prune? When, what time of year do you prune them? You can cut them back a whole year long, but to prune them, you've only got one time, and that's February. February, when you prune you them. Take care of them, see. And I had these all pruned, and that's from my pruning. And if you don't prune it, you will not get no, it will not produce. So every year, you ought to cut them off, or we have about the six or seven inch. Uh... Some people cut, in every, Every one of these is an eye. eye. Yeah. You see? Yeah, I see. Now, if I wanted to prune it, and I really wanted to prune it good, I'd cut it back to where one eye will come out. Yeah. A lot of people take one eye, somebody, some will take two eyes. But me, now, I don't know, I just... You like to have three or four on there. I like <laughs> three or four of them growing. <laughs> And you can come back here in June and July for, from what you sing now. Yeah, I want to. I want. I want to come Lord, back. I want you to. I want to come back in June or July and take a I, look. I'm, we'll we'll do a before and after. So about about four months from now, I'm gonna come back and visit. And I'm gonna see what you got. In August, about anywhere from the middle of August to the second week in September. Yeah. God, the grapes is plentiful. That's all you can see. Man. So this is April 5th. Now I see, now all that over yonder, is that all yours too? All those yeah, other grapes? Yeah, yeah. Look over there, folks. It's not just this little patch right here. He has grapes going all I, the way I, I back own, over there. On the way to the gray house. Maybe. How many vines do you have, Paul? Maybe 150. 150 vines of grapes. So folks, we're going to come back. So this is, this is April. We got April, May, June, July, August, five months from now. I'm gonna come back in August and I wanna see what this man has got for the grapes. Are you gonna help me do a video? Will you eat some with me? <laughs> well, walk me on around, show me some more.